what's your wish, Oliver? Yeah. <laughs> Evelina turns eight this next month. So, uh, eight years old. She, Do you want to tell him your wish? What's your wish? <laughs> Her second wish what's is to go your, to Disney. Where are you going to go? We can't grant every wish. wish. <laughs> to California? Are you going to California? Uh. <laughs> All right, so I heard your sister is also in Cayo. So yes. what's that been like? So she's actually the coach, um, and she was last year too, but I really just enjoy going through this experience with her because we danced together through our whole entire lives, and then we had a little break once she moved off to college, and then when I came now, we've been dancing together again, and I am sad it's her last year because she's a senior, but it's been really fun, and I look up to her so much, so having her as a coach is just awesome. <laughs> Are you How kidding me? Like, <laughs> okay. What's it like coaching your sister? Okay, so me and Carly have actually been dancing together since we were three years old. So this is the last time that we will ever be able to dance together. So it's going to be really emotional for us, emotional for our parents. And I'm just so excited that I get to do this whole experience with her by my side. We're actually right next to each other throughout the routine. So we like look at each other, like say some things. So yeah, this experience has just been really great being able to coach her. So yeah, I'm really excited for tomorrow. So you're a senior. Yeah, I am a senior. Is there anything that you want to, like, I guess, reminisce on being a part of March Madness and this being your last one? I think, like, as I look back, especially tonight. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna cry. Give me a second. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> wow. Who knew this day could be so emotional? So I think over the last three years, what I really have loved is getting close with the local Wish children here in Bloomington Normal. Um, we especially became close with Evelina and Ramona these past couple years. Um, it's amazing having those special bonds with these local Wish children and just letting them know that not only Kayo, but this whole Greek community and the, the normal community as well care about them and that we will always be there for them. Why are you so passionate about March Madness? I'm so passionate about March Madness just because I get the opportunity to see where all of our hard work is going towards. Um, the fact that we are raising money and meeting the children that it's impacting really warms my heart and is something that I'm truly grateful for. So along with the rest of Chi Omega, I think that we're really grateful for our connection to the Bloomington Normal Wish Children. My favorite thing about the show this year is I've actually never witnessed an in-person March Madness. So this will be my first ever March Madness um, that I'm speaking at. So I'm very nervous, but I'm also super excited to just see the process and how everything works out and the Greek community come to cheer each other on. your wish my my wish is going to going to Disney World yeah we're gonna, we're gonna do Disneyland it's all the Disneyland. same thing yeah it's all the same thing isn't it it's just on opposite sides of the country yeah it's in California yeah yeah do you have a favorite Disney character mm, my di favorite Disney character is Ariel what does that event I guess mean to you guys seeing the girls 
put it on all the money that they fundraise and that kind of stuff? Um, I really enjoyed it. Last year we watched it in our dining room on our computer and it was just amazing to see the sororities and fraternities just getting out there and some of them probably never danced a day in their life and they were coming out there and just doing what they had to do. It's, uh, it's nice to see so many organizations and so many of those sororities and fraternities bring awareness uh, to cancer and that they try to make people who have uh, cancer they feel welcome to the community. They try to do something for the kids. For Evelina, she gets to uh, hang out around her college buddies and she gets to go to all these events. Yes. So it, if anything, it makes our family uh, feel special. So. Yes. And it was like being at a concert. It felt really good. Okay, we haven't been to those in a long time because of COVID, you know. And it was just good. And, I mean, there was a lot of cheering. If anybody heard the Reggie box, we were cheering quite a bit, so. Because we went to Reggie's room. We did. And that was, and that was the VIP room. We are just here. I mean, I think throughout her treatment, it was over six weeks of hospital stay, over 700 rounds of chemo. Um, numerous blood transfusions, numerous um, platelet transfusions, and she, I think it made her grow because she's super tall and got lots of hair now. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. We're playing thumb more. We're playing thumb more. Yep. So Working for that Rapunzel hair. Yes. That was her dream. So that's where we're at today.